Welcome, Leo and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Alright, this is for the collective. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What needs to be known, seen, and understood. I do want to thank you guys so much for your patience with me. It has been a very rough couple of weeks trying to um, function on very little to no sleep. So I think things are finally hopefully getting back on track. Really do appreciate any of your positive thoughts and prayers that my child sleeps <laughs> on a normal schedule. All right, let's see. All right, under the deck here, do you have the Wheel of Fortune? Okay, and I just, you have to get, excuse me, I get lost in these cards. I love this deck so much. It is one of my absolute favorite decks in my collection. Definitely like my top three. I feel like there is a lot of concern for somebody here in regards to their finances. And I'm not sure yet if that's you, if that's this person. It's like somebody feels very discouraged because they feel like financially they're not able to live the life that they want. And I'm not talking about just material possessions. It's like they may not have the money to physically get up and move to be with you or to change their circumstances. Um, I love this card. You see here, we see like this woman uh, with her new child and, you know, they're like in like this little barn or something. And we see this man down here trying to blow smoke to kind of get this fire going to kind of create food and warmth to take care of them. And they're kind of bundled up in their, you know, with a lot of clothing on, like they're cold. And so this kind of makes me feel like someone is really wondering, worrying how they're going to provide for you and for this relationship. And I know that some of you are going to be saying, I don't need this person to give me anything. I just want their heart, you know, but they may still, they may come from a very different um, tradition or culture where maybe it's just not normal or appropriate for them to not work, to provide, to take care of you. They, they may feel a lot of grief and discomfort thinking about not being able to give you the life that you deserve, the life that they want you to have. It's like they feel like they're, you know, wait, please wait, please be patient with me while I'm working to get my business off the ground or I'm working to save money or put money away, trying to buy time. Uh, this feels very specific, so again, if it's not your story, please don't force it to fit. Always remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. So let's see if there's any additional messages, guidance, clarity for the collective, Leo, Sun, and Rising, and Venus. Okay. Under the deck here, we do have Boat. Receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on, and or closure issues. For me, this can also symbolize travel. So it could be that you and this person are at a distance from each other um, or that something needs to be able to move forward, but there is something about waiting, preparing for things. Okay. Ooh. Now, interesting, um, Virgo, I just did the Virgo reading and they actually had the soulmate card and twin flame card from a, from a different deck from this deck, which we're going to use at the end. Um, so for some of you, it could, it could be a situation where maybe you identify as twin flames, maybe you identify as soulmates, um, or there's a dynamic of both. Now, please keep this in mind. Um, this is not like a spirituality lesson, but I just want to briefly go over this for those of you who may have questions about this kind of situation. Okay. So we all have soulmates and we have many soulmates. Soulmates can be lovers. Some of them are friends. Some of them are family members. Some soulmates are in our life for a brief period of time, maybe just in passing, maybe just to teach us something. Some are inconsistently in and out of our lives uh, just as we need them, right? And some of them are long-term and they stay with us. Now, not everyone has a twin flame. This is and it doesn't mean that one connection is necessarily better than the other. This is like a reflection of you. Like you see this person and you're so similar to each other. They're here to teach you something. It's it's one soul that has split in two. Okay. Um, so, you know, it is possible that you can incarnate and have both. Okay. So it could be that maybe there's some type of... Um, there could be some type of situation where you might be dealing with somebody or you yourself where 
you're t or somebody is torn between two people or two lives. Now, again, a soulmate doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest, but that's for some of you. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Sometimes when I see this card, it, it even could say that maybe this person has unfinished or unresolved business or karmic debt from a past life. Because some, some soulmates incarnate with you for many lifetimes. Twin flame, yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. And not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. <sighs> yeah. I feel like this is, again, a specific scenario. I feel like. This is a situation where someone is kind of torn. It could be that somebody is with a karmic soulmate. Or they were in the past. And this is somebody who still very much affects them. You could be, live at a distance from that, this person, right? Uh, I also see a boat here. It could be that this person has self-esteem issues, self-worth issues. Especially from a past relationship. Now, you're heartbroken here. Three of Swords. There's a lot of grief and pain in this situation. Because you may not be with this person physically. I think that this person does want to reconcile with you. They may want to offer you their heart or reminisce about past times. I think this person is definitely thinking about you and your history together. There's like the sense of familiarity and comfort. Again, another card that talks about distance. What is between you with the Three of Wands? The Three of Wands is about yearning, wishing, waiting, hoping, praying. Again, this card shows like a boat that is coming in. It's like you could be waiting for each other. Waiting to see each other. Waiting to be together. How do you overcome these obstacles? The obstacle is very clear in this card. The Four of Coins shows us. Someone fearful about their financial situation. Now, some of you might be dealing with somebody you're like, oh, they have their own business. They're doing great. They may not be telling you the whole truth. Okay, and if you know that for a fact, I mean, then ignore that, right? But for some of you, this person may do their best to present themselves as someone who's successful and confident and where they need to be, but they may have a lot of insecurities and fears, especially for those of them that I'm getting who are starting their own business or trying to branch out into a new field. Someone's afraid of financial loss. And even and for those of you who you are dealing with someone who is very well off, if they happen to be married, okay, um, in order to leave that situation, that may really compromise their financial situation. Like maybe they would have to move and relocate their business, which may or may not be successful in a new location. They may have to sell that business. They may lose it because of the funds that they lose in like a divorce or settlement agreement, right? So, I mean, there's a lot of things that can kind of come into play here, but it feels like there's a lot of stress about financial security. Now, this person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, actions towards you, we do have the lovers. Now, the lovers does talk about a very deep spiritual connection. It does talk about choices. This person sees you as the one. Now, your person, they also may not necessarily know about different terminologies and, you know, what these identifications mean, twin flame, soulmate, kindred spirit, karmic. You know, they may not specifically know the differences. They may assume that you're a soulmate. You know, but they do feel a spiritual connection, which is the important thing to note here. What do they, what do they think about you? What is this person's thoughts about you and your relationship? What is this person? Th well, you're the one, you know, you are. Okay. And, um, please don't take any offense. Again, I'm just reading this person's perspective. Uh, they may see you as someone who, um, I don't want to say materialistic, but somebody who's well cared for. You know, somebody who takes care of themselves, somebody who, you know, wears nice clothes or tries to dress well, as most Leos do, you know, somebody, you know, who takes a lot of pride in your appearance and what you have. You know, you've worked really hard to get to where you are for all the things that you have. You like nice things. It's not the most important thing. And for some of you, I feel like, again, you don't care about this person's money or what they can or cannot give you. You know, you can take care of yourself. 
but this person may view you as somebody who deserves nice things. Like they wouldn't want to get married and, you know, move you into the trailer park. You know, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? They may want to give you what you're used to, what they feel you deserve. And they have a lot of fear about it. So, I mean, for some of you, there may need to be a discussion letting this person know, reassuring them. You know, I don't really care for these extravagant things. You know, that kind of thing. This, for some of you, I am getting, they don't want you to have to share their debts. Okay, that can be kind of specific. They know that by getting married, even though they feel that you're the one, that means it's going to put a huge burden on you. I mean, they could, they could have like school debts or, um, you know, some kind of custody agreement or something, loans, maybe even from a current partner. Their feelings, well, they're in love with you. We have the Knight of Cups. This person is a romantic energy. It's like, I want to come to you. I want to open my heart to you. I want to be vulnerable with you. But they feel, they feel like they've thought, I think this person has thought about this a lot. Yeah, like they see it very clearly. King and Queen of Pentacles, they feel like you're made for each other. They're, you're so similar to each other. And that's why they know that you deserve nice things. You deserve a beautiful life. You don't need to struggle. You don't need to worry about their problems. They're almost ashamed of their problems. Uh, or, or their financial fears because even if they're okay right now making any change in their life could result in some kind of financial loss or instability so this person they feel like you're the one they feel protective of you they want to provide for you they want to give you nice things you know they've thought about it so much this person's intentions they want to give you their heart but they're kind of waiting until their cup or their offer is big enough I also feel like this person may be wanting to make plans to see you, spend time with you. But you're kind of wondering about this distance and if this person will ever make changes and give you what you want, which is a committed partnership. Yeah, this is about reconciliation, coming together, spending time together. And with the Six of Coins, this could, for some of you, again, I don't do legal or medical readings, but this could mean some kind of financial uh, agreement that they're making with someone. This could be dividing up the assets in like a divorce settlement or something like that. Uh, it could be that this person is, you know, okay, you'll get the TV, I'm getting the dog, X, Y, Z, you know. I'm taking the nice sofa, but you get the dining room set, that kind of thing. Tell me about it. Could be trying to, de to decide on custody and money when it comes to children. Well, I think they are coming towards you to start something. Maybe even want you to meet their family, meet their children, have some kind of agreement. They want to reach some kind of agreement and get things settled in their life. They're coming towards you. Again, that's your energy, Leo. They might even be opening up about the changes in their life. What's going on? Okay. Okay. So, a couple cards here. We have obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Again, this person is really overthinking and fearing the worst when it comes to this situation. Balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. You may feel like you are constantly the one giving a lot in this relationship, and this person wasn't always as balanced as it needed to be about making things work. Six of Coins can also talk about finding balance in a situation, trying to make things right, trying to make things better. Maybe after, you know, it could be that after they finalized or made some changes or figured out how to do X, Y, and Z, that they're able to be more balanced and be more present with you. Everything happens for a reason with acceptance. I think this person kind of realizes the, the reason all of this kind of happened, even if it has been really challenging, even if it has been really hard. They want to open up. They want to spend time with you. They want to see you. And they do see you as the one. They want to give you those things, but they have a lot of fears. They definitely need to open up about that. Yeah. Obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement and lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. I think you're learning from each other. Yeah, they want to spend time with you. Again, they want time alone or in nature will help you recharge, retreat. They want to spend time with you. They want to kind of get away from all the stress and, you know, craziness that's going on around them. So, 
seems that there is some kind of reconciliation and improvement here if you're open to it. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.